changes are coming after a story on a hidden beauty salon risk that you first saw right here on 10 News. Yeah, and yesterday we told you about this Forest Ranch woman. Well, doctors believe that a shampoo session led to a stroke. 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out her story is now leading to new policies to keep customers safe. At Bella's Academy in Powell, <laughs> amid the sounds of beauty school classes, a feeling of disbelief. Definitely very shocking. Brad Quake is regional director of the nationally renowned school. Definitely not a well known uh, thing in the industry. He's talking about cases like Elizabeth Smith. <laughs> a tearful Smith told us about her massive stroke and the cause given by her doctors. Beauty parlor stroke syndrome, a very rare but documented condition. It's shocking that, yeah, something you think is a benign activity can kill you. Doctors believe when her neck was bent back into the shampoo bowl, her vertebrae sliced an artery leading to a clot. I think this has brought to light some of those situations. Quick says right now. Do you have any neck issues or anything? Consultations are encouraged to address any customer needs if customers have medical issues. Uh, we have the ability to tilt the bowl back and forth. The bowl can be tilted to lessen the angle. So one of the concerns is that a lot of these older shampoo bowls are not adjustable. Couple that with chairs that aren't adjustable, and it could be a problem. Quick says that should be avoided for anyone with neck issues. He now plans to invest in better neck supports at his school, while including training specific to the salon stroke syndrome in the shampoo classes. Michael Chen, 10 News. So in addition to those changes, some salons now have reclining shampoo chairs. Experts say if you have neck arthritis or hardened arteries, washing your face on the down is another option. And you can read the entire story on the homepage of 10news.com.